Hello everybody, welcome to another Versus Video Deck Tech. CVM here, joined once again. BBD. By Mr. Brian Braun Duin. We got some sweet standard action for you guys. Standard format has been a little bit stale lately with Abzan and Jeskai just taking control of everything. Luckily, Green Black Constellation shook things up at the Grand Prix, but we also had a brand new deck win the Open in Oakland yep. uh, last weekend, and we're going to battle with that today. So it's a Jeskai Ascendancy Heroic Combo Aggro deck. Mid-range, control, so it does, tempo. It, it does a whole bunch. <laughs> but, v concordantly. <laughs> but basically, the, uh, uh, the goal of the deck is to play a bunch of aggressive one-drops, enhance them with cards like Defiant Strike, uh, and Dragon Mantle. They all, except for Seeker of the Way, have Heroic, which Seeker of the Way kind of has Heroic. Has Prowess, it's yeah. It's basically the same thing. So they're getting... This get, doesn't have Heroic either. It's basically the same thing. Yeah. So they're, get, they're getting pumped when we're casting these spells uh, so that we can just do a bunch of damage fairly quickly. But we also have an infinite combo. So with Jeskai Ascendancy, if we have two creatures and a Springleaf Drum in play, all we need is a Retraction Helix, and we can loop the drum over and over again, make our guys giant, loot through our deck until the point that we have a God's Willing to give one of the creatures protection from a color of their blockers and then just kill them. Yeah. So it's, it's just basically like a red-white heroic deck with Jeskai Ascendancy that also you know helps augment the you know small creature strategy by the plus one, plus one to all of our guys. But then we just have this infinite combo thrown in on top just because. Yeah, and we also, another thing about the deck too is that Jeskai Ascendancy is actually very good even without a combo. Uh, just pumping your guys, you can just play an Ascendancy, then the next turn you can attack with like two, two, th two or three creatures. Um, like they block, you Defiant Strike, you Retraction Helix, you God's Willing. And, and you like, just pump your guys. Your guys get massive and it blows them out in combat and things like that. One of the really unique interactions with this is actually between a Crow and Crusader and Jeskai Ascendancy because the triggers for both of them go on the stack at the same time and you control both of them, you can actually choose the order with which they're going to resolve. So you can get your 1-1 from a Crone Crusader before the Ascendancy triggers resolve, giving all your creatures plus one, plus one, so you'll a little extra damage out of your spells. Yes. So that's pretty neat. Uh, we do have 18 lands, although there's nine of them that come into play tapped. Yeah. So there is going to be a chance that we're playing a turn behind, uh, but when we can kill our opponents out of nowhere, hopefully that's going to be fine. Uh, we just hope to have Battlefield Forge in our hand a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's the main deck. Let's go ahead and take a look at the sideboard and see what a, a wacky deck like this could have. The old, like, all-in Ascendancy combo deck had, had a sideboard, but you really couldn't sideboard very much. This one's a little bit different since we're not all-in on the combo, so let's take a look. All right, we are here with the sideboard for the Jeskai Heroic Ascendancy combo deck, uh, and we have... Uh, some unique options. With the all-in combo deck, you would use like Swan Song and then like 11 other cards that you thought would look cool in your sideboard. But this one has some actual applications. So we have a Disdainful Stroke and a couple Negates just as ways to, you know, help prevent, uh, you know, large things from entering the battlefield and trying to mess with us. Uh, I imagine for the most part, these are going to be hitting things like Elspeth, things like that, that once they come down, we're not really, really going to be able to win the game. And hostilities. And Hostilities is another one. Negate also happens to counter Anger of the Gods and Drown in Sorrow, which are two cards that are very good against us. Uh, we do have two Ajani's Presence, which are also very good against End Hostilities. Two Magma Jets is ways to kill uh, troublesome smaller creatures, things that are going to out-tempo us, Goblin Rabble Master, Eidolon of the Great Revel, things of that nature. Uh, it's also not bad if you happen to play against the Mirror, which might be a thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Although I feel like if you want a card that's doing that... Uh, Magma Spray is probably better, since it only costs one mana. The most unique card in the sideboard, however, is Chasm Skulker. The, the Skulk. So, uh, I'm, go ahead and take a second and read it. <laughs> all right, now that we're all familiar with what the card does, uh, it's going to be used against the heavy removal decks. Uh, so, the control decks and you know, whatever form they are, once we get this guy in play, if we can protect him for a couple turns, it gives us a little bit of insurance against sweepers and removal. Uh, and sometimes you can just grow really big and kill our opponent if they don't have any opposition. Yeah, and like all your Defiant Strikes, uh, Dragon Mantles, uh, any spell with Jeskai Ascendancy in play are going to make Skulker bigger. Yep, which is pretty cool. And you get to use... Squids. The Squids. Yep. Uh, we have two more Seeker of the Way to go up to four against the aggressive decks, just as ways to gain life and win the race. And then three, three E-Race, uh, very good in the mirror if your opponent happens to be playing Jeskai Ascendancy. 
but it also kills cards like Whip of Erebos, Corsair, <laughs> Corsair Prefix, and Doomwake Giant. Really? So those three cards? It just happens to kill those three cards as well. So would you say that a race comes in when your opponent's playing enchantments? Yes. All right. So anytime your opponent's playing some troublesome enchantments, uh, you definitely are going to want to race. And so this is the sideboard. It's at, it actually looks pretty sweet. I'm, I like Chasm Skulker a lot. Uh, I'm not sure where its place is going to be as the format you know, continues to move forward and change. Uh, but just this deck by itself goes to show that we are way far away from actually solving this format. Yeah. Like, look at the, the, the two popular, I want to say shards, clans, Jeskai and Abzan. I mean, most decks are like 60 out of the same 75, but those last 15 cards are just so different. There's so many different ways you can build decks in this format. And this just goes to show that you can, you know, you can experiment a little bit and be successful with it. So there's really no reason not to, to not keep brewing. Yeah, definitely. So let's uh, go ahead and jump in and see what happens in the games.